and welcome back to American Truck Simulator. And no sooner has Smarty's Peterbilt 350 been released, and it gets an update with some new engines. Let's take a look. So yeah, a new update with some new engines, and as you can tell, this is not exactly a 150 horsepower engine. No. This is a Cummins NTC Big Cam with 444 horsepower and 1,400, you can count them, for pounds of torque. Now this engine is much newer than the truck. This is a 1949 build truck with a 1980 engine, I believe. Certainly, yeah, the engine is, uh, you know, 30 years newer than the truck. It's not a modern engine, needs lots of revs. We have a 10-speed transmission in this one with a 433 final drive and an overdrive ratio. So, you gotta use lots of revs, but this thing can perform fairly well. Let's find out exactly how well it does. Today is an urgent delivery of utility poles, and we're going up to Boot, but no, I'm pretty sure it's Boot, up in Montana. This is part of the Power on Steam achievement, so um, I've got none of these so far, uh, or maybe I've got one, but either way, I need six. This is the first or my second one, so um, without further ado, let's uh, connect this cargo and uh, make like a wheel of cheese and roll on out of here. So as far as specification go on this truck van, I've already covered that we're running a Cummins NTC Big Cam. This is the 444 version, so 444 horsepower rated and 1400 foot-pounds of torque. It's a 10 speed like I've said, it's a 6x4 and it's the long wheelbase version of the truck. And it's noisy, it needs lots of revs. Peak torque is produced at 1500 RPM and the governor is at 2200 revs. Now I'm using the transmission in automated mode today because I don't have a display that I can easily use. So what that means is that we're using the default shift points. Gotta say, it works great. I have no complaints here with that. As far as how well this thing's going to perform, I've hooned around with nothing on the back. I don't really get a feel for something like that. The Big Cam is a solid enough engine once you get used to keeping the revs up. That shouldn't be an issue with this short gearing. 55 miles an hour is going to be about 1550 RPM in top gear, so it's right at the sweet spot. And it should be changing up to uh, 55, 56, I think it'll, it'll select top gear. I may manually force it to use top. I am um, 
I'm expecting this to be a pretty solid performer and be a lot of fun because uh, it's an urgent delivery in Montana. What could possibly go wrong? So I get it, this is a very light cargo, it is not even 23,000 pounds, but we are barreling along very nicely at, 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 at speed. I don't have the massive urge to, to be doing 70, 75 everywhere, but it'll do it just about. So yeah, I think I was right. Um, this thing is performing just fine. In fact, um, I'm tempted to see uh, if I can find a heavy cargo and kind of uh, run something there. Okay, looks like we're coming up on some construction works. Uh, shame to lose all this speed, but I'm, I think I'm gonna have to. And you know what, that, that's something else as well. This truck only has two mirrors. I don't have the, uh, the, the I guess the hood mirrors, that might be called, and I don't have the um, little small mirrors that let you, what's the word, convex? Basically, you, you the, the, the wide angle mirrors, I know what I'm trying to say. Go on Mustang, I know you want to. So yeah, I gotta move my head around a lot to, um, to see what's behind me or what's next to me. And, that's something that you don't really always appreciate in the modern stuff or with, uh, with hood mirrors or even the wide angle mirrors. It, the need to move ahead and with a controller, that can be a little tiresome. I have mapped a, a control to, con to basically set my view to the default. I just used it, but I try not to use that unless um, I'm under a very high stress situation. Anyway, so we lost all that speed and now we're way back up to where we want to be. So yeah, this, um, this 350 is doing great. Yeah, you know, I've got loads of time. I'm gonna drop the speed to uh, 55, I think. Um, that's gonna help efficiency. And um, I've made such good time. I don't need to hoon around at 70 or even 65. So yeah, this uh, is probably not the most efficient uh, trucks on the road. I don't expect it to be. The truck itself is about 70 years old, give or take. And the engine is um, 50, yeah, well, 40, something like that. Old enough to know better and young enough to still care.
Okay, fabulous. We're pretty much here, and uh, this should be an easy drop, and we'll see uh, see how well we did. Yeah, I've been to this Faraday a few times, but somehow never managed to bring utility poles or the um, gather electric was it circuit breakers. Yeah, I just never managed it. So that will change today. That's exciting. All right, thanks, Helga. Let's check in here and see uh, where it wants it. Oh, that's a is that a big transformer there? Anyway, yep. I'm gonna go for the difficult parking today. That is most definitely a transformer. I am interested in hauling that next time. But first, let me just drop off uh, where this one goes. So it's just up here on the right, it looks like. So I guess it's like maybe adjacent to um, these yellow poles, perhaps. No. Um, uh, okay. Hey, I don't. Yeah, we've we've gone too far. Where am I? Oh, great. Okay, uh, I'm going to maneuver back. Well, I can't really reverse. I'm going to keep going around this little loop and see if I can't figure out where it was. I mean, how hard can it be, surely? <laughs> well, it was right there. Oopsie. Okay, so maneuvering this um, trailer and finding where I'm supposed to go has not been the shining star of this video. But um, straightforward to get it in the spot, which is good. And a nice view of what I think my next cargo is going to be, which is that 120 something thousand pound transformer. Alright, well, I'm just going to nudge it into the spot. We're pretty much there. And let's see how well we did. Okay, so 227 miles and I burn 47.1 gallons of fuel, so that's not even 5 miles per gallon. That is a little disappointing, but, um, you know, it's not the most efficient uh, engine and I know that Smarty has deliberately nerfed the engine just a little, some tweaks to internal friction, and that's not going to help miles per gallon numbers. But, I enjoy the truck. Um, and I got to um, paint it in red thunder colors and that's always a good thing Well, hope that you've enjoyed today's video and if you have you know, I am sure exactly what to do and um, Thanks so much for uh, taking the time to watch this. I hope you have a great day I'll see you in the next one and don't forget there is cheese in cheesecake <laughs>